if you come see my past, how I grew up and stuff, that shit was worse than what I'm doing now. This shit is easy. Joining us on Sprint Views today is somewhat of an enigma. Originally a 400 meter runner, matter of fact, was a US champion in the 400 meters. Matter of fact, was a bronze medalist at the world championships in the 400 meters. Matter of fact, a diamond league champion in the 400 meters. Kelly extricates himself. But the guy decides to start running the 100 meters. Then becomes the Olympic Games silver medalist in the 100 meters. Then is the current world champion in the 100 meters. I was a doubter, but I've been proven wrong. We gotta give it up, man. For the mystery man. Fred Curley. What's good, my guy? Nothing much. Chill and live and grind every day, you know? Fred, who are you, man? A person about that action. Well, it raises a good question. Are champions born, bred, or did they learn it? I feel like a champion is, is, is never born. It's all about the environment you come up in. Is it, most, most of us got the talent, regardless of saying it's just people like polish us, uh, us up. People see how I talk and stuff, but I've been talking like this since I was, <laughs> ain't shit, you feel me? They ain't built like me, baby. Shit, they ain't built like me. It's level to this shit, young boy. Like, it's nothing, nothing to really change about who I am. I've been talking like this since uh, when I was running 48 seconds. I'm not necessarily talking stuff. I'm just trying to elevate the, the next game. I'm not I'm not a person to hate on nobody. I want everybody to succeed, but I just want what minds, you feel me? Like how free do you feel like you are to be within track and field? If I be Fred Curley how Fred Curley is every day, it's not gonna work. You get what I'm saying? None of us is actually free besides the other other con. Yeah, I'm just leaving it like that. At the end of the day, we gonna get black ball off and then boom. We, we miss out on everything else. Most of us traumatized by the stuff how we grew up. I ain't had both of my parents. Shooting, I've been, we've been shot at. When people talk about track to me, this shit is easy to me, to tell you the truth, because I already been through the bad part in life. I don't got to watch over my back. I can step outside and stuff. I don't got to worry about my, where, where, where my parents and something. I'm a grown ass man. I don't got to worry about when the next food coming from, because I can provide that stuff for myself. I don't got to worry about clothes on my back. I've been through worse already. This stuff easy now. That's, it, it probably be hard days, but it's easy to me. On a scale from one to 10, one being not that much knowledge and 10 being all the knowledge in the world, where do you think you are uh, with what you know about the 100 meters? I must say one. <laughs> My ass just running. That's just on the guy truth. My <laughs> ass just running. The 100 is just young. I ran 983 in four months of uh, doing that stuff. And then the next year, I ran 9-7. Come on, man. So what was the moment you knew that you could do something in the 100? Yo, know, the crazy part of it, it, basically when I was here, here in Miami. What year? 2021. When I ran 991, I was on a broken ankle. When I went to overseas, my ankle was still messed up. Tell about Ostrava? Yeah. <laughs> Away first time, the Labour got away well in lane two, but now it's Fred Curley and Justin Gatlin's got some work to do here. He's going to come on strong late on, but Fred Curley holds him. That's a terrific performance from Curley, and that is a marker laid down by the 400 meter specialist over 100 meters. If we thought that 991 in Miami was a fluke, it certainly wasn't. My ankle was broken, like messed up. It was faster, and and I was running on it. I don't feel no pain with the money on it. I got I, I got to eat. My people got to eat. That's my mindset. You don't see it. But like, once I go back to the cell, I'm like, damn, how the fuck I do that? That shit hurt. 
But I'm not telling nobody that. You feel me? I'm going to get to the next level if they not respecting me. Like, that's my mentality. Either I'm going to run and be at the elite level or not. Generally, with what you know about both events, what's the difference between the 100-meter culture and the 400-meter culture? The 400, who got the biggest balls? I feel like the 100 is basically want to be the baddest motherfucker alive. So there's less balls in the in the hundred? No, I don't want to say that. It's just like, for me, it's just like, I don't really think most of the guys got it. What do you think would be harder, going from the hundred to the 400 or going from the 400 to the hundred if you're going to switch in the middle of your career? At the end of the day, it depends still how your coach yourself train you. A hundred guys should be able to run the 400. A 400 guy should be able to run the 100. If they run in 43 seconds, they booking it the first 100, 200. We run a 20 point second at 200. Francique is still your coach, right? Yes, sir. So Alien Francique, for those who don't know, former 400 meter runner for Grenada, was actually a world indoor champion. He was a standout in the 400. So him coaching you in the 400 makes sense. But now that he's you know coaching you in the 100, is he still kind of learning through you? It's not so much that you learn. Most of our coaches at these schools, they just don't do one event. It just where the title lay. Most of your coaches should know mostly every event. Because you got to understand, if a coach step out, somebody got to step up. Well, it's a pattern forming, obviously, because I mean, Bolt did it. You did it. It's a shift in the mentality, right? It's not normal. You feel me? But... I come from junior college. It's doggy doggy world over there. Most of these guys got to go to the struggle to be able to come through the system because most of the people that go to Division One, I'm sorry, they a bunch of uh, they they not tough. They not mentally there. I'm coming from the bottom. You already at the top. You going straight to Division One. I feel like my mentality come from high school day. Me walking on at South Plain and me being around a bunch of Caribbean, Africans, Europeans, and stuff is basically like. They, they, they mean business, man. I had to take my 400 spot. Nothing given to me. I'm basically taking the stuff. And if, 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 if everything was given to me, I, I, won't, I probably won't be in the position I am now. You actually got to grind. My first year out, man, you know, coming, coming from running 43-7 in college and then coming to the profession. These boys are, hey, these boys are ready. So it was a different ball game coming, coming from college to – the professional ranking, it was, it was, it was no, no handout, but not, not, I feel like now I got the hang of the stuff. It's just like, I'm, I'm it's, it's the balls in my hands. Mm. Spotlight's hotter on you now, man. How do you feel like you've been handling that? A lot of people watching me because I'm, I'm saying phase 42, phase nine, phase, phase 18, like people catching on to that stuff. I like, went Fred Curly gonna do this. When Fred Curly gonna do that. People are actually watching. My performance speak for itself. The medal's gonna speak for itself. And just don't don't be surprised when the stuff I say is gonna happen. 100 meters of the USA's 9.83, 9.76, 9 9.77. I was looking at it like, yo man, I don't know how much longer he can hold us up with these nine sevens come to the world championships two weeks later 9.79 10.02 that's the one I pulled my muscle at that's where you pulled your quad it's not, it was not really in the 200 so this is your heat your heat you were feeling alright right yeah Chinese athlete gets out well, but not quite as well as Fred Curley. Wow. Fred stands up and away he goes. The Olympic silver medalist says, I like running at home. 9.79 for Fred the... Curley. <laughs> okay. Take a look at me. He said, Marcel Jacobs, did you check that out? I'm so just... were you aware that that race was that fast when you ran it? See, in, in warm up, like my game plan was actually the Break that shit right there. And it was not no 9-7. I was thinking 9-5. You wanted a 9-5 in your heat. Hey, 9-6, 9-5. Break the American record first round. In the semifinal, I was ready to run something faster than that 
my body ain't really recovered at the USA's. But the semifinal happened. Like, if, if you understand body mechanics and gestures, my body me mechanics and gestures is off. And you can just tell by the face. And I'm like, damn. Is this something that you would consider a learning experience? Is this something, would you approach your rounds differently? Or is this just like, when you got to go, you got to go? When you got to go, you got to go. I did that in college. I did, I, I did that in 400. So it's just like, you got to take your body that had never been to get where you're trying to go anyway. So that means you're going into the 100 meter final at the World Championships. Injured. I didn't warm up. I just actually just got to the blocks and just ran. It was just basically I dropped my balls and got that. They're away first time. There's a massive roar from the crowd. Coleman's going well out in lane seven. Still no move yet from Curly. Bracey going well. Curly's under pressure. Oh, and it's so tight. Did Curly get it on the line? I think Curly might have just done it. Curly's done it. What a moment for the 400 meter man. It's not about the time, it's about the number one. And Curly has secured himself a place in history. He did, he did. You feel Marvin here, right? Were you considering just being like, man, I might have to just let him go? Yeah, I was just like, basically it was just being close because I'm already seeing everybody on the uh, right side of me. So I'm like, let him go and I'm most likely going to outdip him, regardless how far he ahead of me. Because my dip's been perfect all year long, and this is going to come down to the dip because my, my legs is not moving like it was the previous days. That's something you work on in practice? That's just, I feel like that's just natural to me. Sprinters never work on their dip. And really, I think it's something that they should do. Because that can, that's, that can make it a difference between hundreds of thousands of dollars, Doug. 100,000, <laughs> more than that. Like basically, it's, you know, contract year, you feel me? So I need this more than ever, especially coming from the situation we come from. Uh, we got to get it by all means. Explain that a bit more. N nothing given, given to us. So if we don't go take the opportunity wise in our hand, then you don't, it, not too many opportunities gonna come like this in a lifetime. I know I pull something, but I ain't get to these positions just to tell my coach I'm pulling out. I'm not, I'm not that type of person. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's just like, whatever less left in this tank, just go. Whatever left in this tank, just go. Do you uh, communicate with Marcel Jacobs? On, on, on social media. What happens if uh, he's healthy in that world championships and in that 100 meter final? I still will win because it go like this. I, I'm, I was ready for blood, no sugar, cold, nothing. I would win because I would already won his neck. But I'm telling you, I would have won regardless because I got I'm, I'm ready for all the numbers that come in my way next year. So I know they coming after me. But how you gonna come after 2021 20, Fred Curley or 22 Fred Curley? I'm already on 23, 24 Fred Curley. So when your career ends and you know you want to be able to cock up your feet on the couch and be like, yep. I did everything I wanted to do. What would that career consist of? I want, I want at least a gold medal in each event I do. One, two, and four. And have all three world records. But success comes in different ways. And medals and stuff, that's cool. But how can you inspire your, your community? I don't be talking about track once I get done with track practice. It's just like how Fred Curly gonna build up his wealth or family wealth once he get done with enjoying and seeing the world. Before you go, just talk to me a bit about your gardening. Gardening is basically a patient thing that I do, especially this time right now, taking my mind away from all the stuff that's going on. Life is really changing in front of my eyes without me knowing changing in front of my eyes. So it's just a beautiful thing. It, it basically like, being patient with, with what's in front of you. Every plant don't grow the same. And every plant don't got the same time frame, especially with track and field. You gotta be patient with half of the stuff in track and field. But if you're patient with that, you can be patient with everything.